So boys, this is a catch for today. We got two spots over here, a large mouth, and a big old freaking crappie. So we got a mixed bag. So that's what I'm talking about. We got one and then us and another person. <laughs> Only 27 degrees. 8.05 December 18th. Let's go fishing again, boys. That's a good one. Well, damn, King. I would have helped you, but you had the net tied down. There we go. All right. So it is 816. First cast for Keenan. What was the temp? It's uh, uh 30. 30 degrees. It was 27. 27 right now, boys. But uh, the water temp's 47, which is they've been that means they're going to be a little slower than usual there we go that Ooh, a, that's a good one that's a good one fight them son fight them oh my gosh come on oh that is a donk <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's a large mouth. Yeah. It's a large mouth. Woo. That's a good one. <laughs> we should keep him and uh, turn him loose in the pond. Oh. Down his throat. No way, let's see it. Oh my God, he's got a bluegill down his throat. What a donk. It is a donker, ain't it? Yeah. That's a nice one. Right here. I know. It's a little one. Uh, little dinky dang. Little dinky dang. They're still wanting it. Yeah. Hey, Keenan. Yeah, I got you. That's a head shaker right there, boy. Yeah. Yeah, that's Whoa. a good one. Son, right on the same spot. Right on the same spot. What were you saying though, Keenan? About them Guggen Squad boys? So, the thing is, is, so when they all sign a contract, they sign a contract to get a certain percentage off, like certain percentage of like profit. Yeah. From, and then... Oh, I can't feel that. And then if they, and if someone used their... <laughs> Say, come here, fishy. Oh, flip him. It's a better one. It's decent. I let him swallow it, though. Yeah, that's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> Can he go, ba? It's a good one. Whoo, buddy's cold. Go! Good. 
Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, my hands are froze. Trolling motor bow. All right, boys. Can you whoop my butt, dude? This is gonna be Keenan's fishing channel. Dinky. This small ass fucking bass eating it. Oh god. Keenan, your drag is way too loose, homie. Yeah. Watch out. That's a good bass. <sighs> yeah. Let's see that thing. And you gotta, like, bro, you were checking that fish so hard. I'm surprised he didn't let go. Okay. Well. <laughs> Let's see him. That's a good one. Yeah. Uh huh. All right, that's a better one. Right by them trees, Kenan. I can't feel my hands. <laughs> Bro, God almighty. What? I can't feel my hand. I can't see shit. Oh, I netted the shit out of him. Yee boy. Let's see him, Ken. That's a good one. See him. That's a chunk. He's, <laughs> He's fighting me. He said, What up, bro? What up with it? Yeah, these are little small spotted bass. Eating size. I am on some big ones. I just let them take them. <laughs> Little dinks. Yeah, you're checking them too hard, dude. Look, see, they're little babies, bro. Little babies. Yeah, we need to get off these fish. These are nothing. All right, boys. This is the catch of the day. As far as the biggest ones that we got today, two good spotted bass, and we got a big old largemouth over here. Obviously, largemouth is going back because we don't keep keep largemouth. Uh, we like to eat our spotted bass, and uh, we uh, limited out today. We caught a good bit of bass. So, go ahead, Kenan. Alrighty, so with that being said, it was cold, windy, probably never do this again if I'm going to be honest with you, but um, I will say this, um, huge shout out to Tim and Bait Tackle, um, without them we wouldn't be out here um, on this lake, they actually give us advice on what to do and some stuff, but uh, we get all our lines, our baits, our lures, reels, everything, everything we use here today is from Tim and uh, Tackle. Um, if you get if you guys get a chance, check them out. They're local here in Georgia in Carrollton. Um, so 
if you're around that area check them out they got some good stuff and good prices um other than that that's all i got all right boys well we'll see you next time thanks for watching <laughs> all right i got a request to uh do a little documentation on what we use as far as equipment and you know baits and stuff so i was gonna let you guys see this this is a feather stick made by dixie customs it's got a fluger supreme xt on it with 10 pound test line i like to use 10 pound test just in case you know they get in the rocks so it doesn't break off as easy it works good um that's my pole uh it's also it's a 7.2 keenan also has a fluger supreme xt reel on the rod he uses a, a mock speed stick and also 10 pound test line now guys on the baits on Altoona, these bass are pretty aggressive. They're spotted bass. Anything that looks like a shiner or a shad, they will hit. Jerk baits. What else, Cannon? You got junior flukes. You got. I love a junior fluke. Yeah, junior fluke's good. You got live bait if you want to use shiners. Shiners, they freaking demolish shiners. All you got to do is get on top of them and drop it down. Uh, I mean, anything, man. Um, I would spoons, say. if you get on top of them, spoons. I what have, else, Kenny? I have uh, I have more luck dropping a drop shot uh, junior fluke if you want to try it out on Lake Altoona. Yeah. Um, Rocky, you, guys, you can't see me, but you can hear me. Uh, rocky structure, I would say, if you can find a rocky drop off structure anywhere between 15 to 25 foot, because mm -hmm. that's where they're usually sitting at. Yeah. Um, as you can see in our video, that's how we're catching them. Yeah, and Keenan whooped my ass today. I ain't gonna lie, he's putting a hurting on me. He caught the quality, and I think he caught the quantity. But that's like the first time for like anything, so don't don't pay attention to that. I was, you know, cutting through the wind because <laughs> it was, what was it? It was 27 degrees and the wind was 15 miles an hour. So anybody out here today is pretty hardcore. So, all right, we're going to get out of here and get on the trailer, guys. Y'all have a good one.